One of the great joys of life is sharing an excellent cup of coffee every morning. We've owned dozens of different coffee makers. We've tried countless brands of coffee. While some coffee experts declare that you need a mystical array of precision paraphernalia and a precise understanding of both chemistry and physics to brew a fine cup of joe, over the years, through a great deal of trial and effort, we've developed a process that produces consistently outstanding coffee. We'll share our methods with you as we review and rate Methodical Coffee's Brazil Dolce Signature Roast. Come along and join the adventure on our quest for the best possible cup of coffee. When you break it down, brewing great coffee has just three primary components. First is the water. You need relatively soft, clean, clear water. No smell, no odor. Here in Central Florida, the water comes from an aquifer that's surrounded by limestone. So our water out of the tap is very hard with a lot of minerals and a noticeable sulfur aftertaste. To overcome these shortcomings, we installed a reverse osmosis system that gives us softer water without the filmy taste that you sometimes get from a salt water system. In addition, we have a dual charcoal filtration system coupled with a four tank water purifier. Yeah, I know it's overkill, but we do have some really great water. If you don't have good water and you don't want to go to the links that we have gone to, go to your local grocery store, buy a couple gallons of good quality water with a low mineral content and you'll be ready to start out. Next, you need a brewing method. There are two general ways to brew coffee, either pressing or percolating. We've tried both the French press and the AeroPress, and while you can get a really good cup of coffee, the press method we found to be difficult and inconsistent. Percolating can be done using a pour over drip with something like a Chemex flask or percolating with a stovetop mocha pot, perhaps even a vacuum siphon. The biggest problem that we found with these and the dozens of other coffee makers that we've owned is that brewing time and water temperature are never consistent. Six years ago, Susan and I were staying in an Airbnb in Santa Monica. The host provided us with an interesting looking coffee maker and over the course of the next two weeks, we made the best, most consistent coffee that we had ever produced. As soon as I returned home, I went on Amazon and purchased the Mocha Master Technovorm Coffee Brewer. The thing that sets the Mocha Master apart from other methods of brewing coffee is that you have a very high quality, handmade machine that consistently brews coffee in two to six minutes at a very precise temperature. This consistency produces the perfect ratio of coffee flavor compounds to the water. Ground coffee can only retain its freshness for about a week under ideal conditions. Coffee beans will stay fresh for several weeks and will retain their freshness much longer if you keep them in a tight container. We grind about 60 grams of coffee beans every day to brew our coffee. We keep about two days worth of beans in the grinder and the remainder in an airtight container. We use the Saboli Burr Grinder. The burr grinder produces a consistent, even grind, whereas a blade grinder is much more inconsistent and does not allow for uniform grinding. The grinding works well and allows us to have beans ground to a medium consistency in exactly the amount we require for daily brewing. We use a Melita number no. four unbleached filter. I've tried wire mesh basket filters and I found that over time they tend to retain the residual oils of the coffee and that makes your coffee bitter. I used to run water over my Melita filters before I put the ground coffee into the filter basket. That's supposed to eliminate any paper taste. I guess our palates just aren't refined enough to taste the paper, so I don't rinse the filters any longer. Uh, you can do what you want to. The final component are the coffee beans. Today we're going to be brewing beans from Brazil. Usually we prefer a single source coffee, 
because it allows you to experience the exact individual traits of the coffee, the region where it was grown, and the artfulness that's provided by the grower's process. We've selected a coffee roasted by Methodical Coffee, a specialty roaster in Greenville, South Carolina. They've been open since 2015 and been roasting their own coffee since 2017. The three partners say they exist to enrich the minds and taste the relationships through coffee. So let's take a look at Methodical Coffee's Brazil Dolce Signature Blend. It's a blend of two coffees sourced from farms in the Alta Mogana region of Brazil. The coffee is a 50-50 blend of naturally processed yellow Cataya coffee and a honey processed Mondo Nova coffee. The coffee originated on two separate farms and it was harvested this past summer, sun dried for 21 days and roasted seven days ago by Methodical Coffee. Before we start brewing our coffee, I'd like to let you know how we source the wonderful collection of roasters that we try. A while back, my son gave me a subscription to Mistobox, and it's turned out to be an exceptional way to identify and purchase specialty coffees from small roasters all around the country. Mistobox has 52 different roasters and features 590 different personalized coffee selections. We get one 12 ounce bag of fresh roast beans every month at a price that is more than competitive. It's the best way that we found to efficiently and economically access roasters that otherwise we'd never be able to identify. I'll put a link below to the website and additionally provide you with a code for $10 off your first purchase. Now let's start brewing our coffee. We'll put enough beans in the grinder to provide us with 60 grams of ground coffee. Next, we check to make certain the grinder is set to a medium grind and push the grind button. Now we'll take the number four filter, crease it on the sides and bottom, and fit it into the filter basket. We'll remove the grinder container from the grinder and tap it several times to loosen the coffee from the lid and the sides. Next, we pour the coffee into the filter and replace the filter basket on the brewer. Now we remove the pot, fill it with approximately one liter of filtered water, measure the water into the brewer's water tank and empty the excess water from the pot and replace the lid and put the pot back on the brewer. Now we press the button and watch the magic begin. After about 30 seconds, we'll gently stir the coffee along the sides of the filter basket to ensure that all the coffee is in contact with the water. Four minutes later, the brewing process is complete. We let the coffee set and steep for a couple more minutes before we pour a cup. Okay, our coffee's uh, finished brewing. Uh, we're ready to taste and see uh, what we think today of, of Brazil Dolce Signature Coffee. The aroma is really good. This, it does smell very good. Mm. It, uh, it, and it really brewed nicely. I, uh, I don't know whether you saw the crema that was on top, mm -hmm. but it was, uh, it was great. I thought it was, uh, uh, it was an excellent brewing process. So let's taste it and see what we think. So what's your first impression? Actually, it's a little bit weaker than what I thought. I didn't. I thought it'd be very, very strong. I thought it would be a little bit stronger too. It. Uh, I think it's got a great flavor. Uh, I think it's. Uh, uh, it's it's kind of roasty. Tasting. It is. It's a roasty taste to it. It doesn't. Uh, it's not the same kind of body that we usually have on a daily basis. Um, but it is. A, I don't care for strong coffee, and I thought this would be very strong. And it. It's, no, it's not. It's a very mild coffee. Yeah, and I like that, and I like the roastiness. Uh, yeah, I just. I think it's a, it's a little bit milder than I. I yeah, kind of like. I think yeah. I'd like something. Uh, just a little more, body. little more body to it. I think that's I think that's good. But I, I think it's it's good. We're going to use a ten point scale. Uh, our normal coffee that we drink on a daily basis, uh, we'd rate between a seven point seven and an eight. And uh, so, how do you think you'd rate this on a uh, on a basis compared? It's 
compared to our daily coffee that we enjoy every morning, I would probably rate this a seven. Okay. Um, I'd probably go a seven five on it. Now, our daily coffee is a blended coffee, mm -hmm. so that makes a little bit of difference because mm -hmm. this is a single origin coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, that gives us a, a, a blended score here of a 7.25, which is still very good. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, it's a, it's a coffee that, uh, that we'll enjoy. We'll finish up the bag. Definitely. And uh, I think, uh, you know, we might even try it again. So uh, we hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of the adventures of Susan and Rich, then please subscribe. Leave us a comment. You can find a link below for all the products we featured today. Have a great day, and please stop by again very soon.